Okay, here are my parts I just got in that I ordered online from a rookie mistake I made last week while mowing one of my yards, okay? This is a PTO switch, 10 amp. They also, I think the original is a five amp, but this one's a little beefier, so I got it. That's the box that came in. Here it is, this is a PTO switch, and I'll show you in a minute what I did. And then I screwed up my uh, choke cable. And what I did, I ran into something. It's a seven year old mower, and I've been using it for seven years. You would think by now that uh, I would know how to drive the thing. But I was watching my deck going around an air conditioner and I hit a top of a pontoon boat uh, and it bent, popped this cap off and it bent my choke cable. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, this is the new switch. This is where the old one was and i just basically popped it off when i ran into that you can see the choke cable if you look closely it's bent right here so it won't go all the way in so you take three screws off of this time cutter and this is what you're dealing with so this is just unplugs right here and then this one will plug in and go in right there now i'm going to show you what i did to this so I could keep on mowing. So basically the mower is totally functional now. I have to choke it back here at the back by hand to get it started first thing. But once it runs, um, I'm good to go the rest of the day starting it up. But what I had to do is cut this top off right here. And so for you guys that, you know, time is money, and if you break this, I'm going to show you a trick that you can do to keep you going, okay? What I did, I cut the top off of this, and now I can take a pair of needle nose pliers, and I can pull this up, and it will actually engage this switch still, even though the yellow knob is not on it. It's broken, and then when I want to disengage the blades, I would push it down like that. So now I'm gonna take this part off. You know, you just push it through like that and I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna have to turn off the camera and I'm gonna show you what it's like, but you just unplug it right there. Okay, so I have it unplugged and I'm gonna take it into my garage and show you how I cut the top off of here. And so I'm gonna put this side by side with the new one where you can actually see. It actually has a little lip there and I had to take a hacksaw and cut that off so that I could get down to this. I'm actually gonna keep this part in a little plastic bag and put it in my glove compartment um, with my vehicle that I uh, pulled my trailer and mower with and I will keep it because I know this will work with a pair of needle nose pliers that I just keep back here in the back. So with a hacksaw here, I took this piece it was, on, it was on there about like this, and I cut along in here, all the way around, very gently, slowly, and the knob fit in over here, and I popped this off, made it where I could get a needle nose plier down here to engage my blade. This is just kind of like, you can call it what you want, a life hack to um, keep you mowing in case you're a type guy that's out there uh, making money, you know, doing this because you can go to a mower repair shop and pay $35 to $42 for one of these, or you can order one online for $12 to $20, but you're going to be down, you know, five or six days. And so this is a way to keep you going. I bet you I've mowed seven or eight yards with it like this. And like I said, I'm going to keep this as a backup, as a spare. But um, hope this helps somebody out there. Okay, I'm about to show you how this will work with how I saw the top off and using a pair of needle nose pliers. It's gonna get loud because I'm about to start the mower, and, but you will hear how the blades will engage once I um, engage them. So here goes.
Okay, it's time to put the new switch on. You know, I've t taken these three bolts out here on the time cutter. These are the three screws that um, go in here. And you just snap this in. Pretty easy. Watch it. Okay, it snapped in. And then you plug it in right here. You just snap it in like this, or plug it in. I'm going to turn off the camera and get it good and snug. And then I'm going to take this bolt off and put the new choke cable on. Okay, so you see how I loosen this bolt. This will come all the way off. And we'll fall down here in a second. Now, while we're looking at this, you see you got the plug for the ignition switch. And you actually, on the time cutter, got a couple of fuses under here. And so these fuses, you know, if something goes wrong, uh, check those fuses first. They're very easy to pull out and check and see if they're shorted out or whatever. Okay, and then we're going to come back here and come to the choke. And I'm going to unhook it right here and take it all the way off. So I loosen this bolt here and then your cable will come through and then it will just turn and come off of here and I'm going to remove the whole cable now. This angle will actually give you a view of how bad I've been it. Like I said, it was a rookie mistake. And probably about a $30 mistake in two parts plus my time. But there is a way, even if you do this kind of damage to your mower, you can still make it work. And that's what I wanted to communicate for you guys that are in the middle of a job, middle of the week, and don't have time to go to the repair shop with a hacksaw, how to get it going again. Here are the part numbers to the PTO switch. You can just um, pause and look at that. I think it's X Mark Toro 103 for my particular time cutter. But you can look up your mower's uh, PTO switch. And then for my time cutter, which is I think like a 2014 or 2015, this was the choke cable that I got. Okay, I got the new choke cable on. Tighten down here. It runs back probably zip tie they give you a couple of zip ties and I got it back here I still have to tighten up this screw and set the choke just right I always I always keep a screwdriver on my mower and I'm gonna screw these three line it all up and screw these three screws in now to get the um, plate back in place since I'm at my garage I'm gonna do it the easy way There you go, back in place. Okay, I set my clutch and you can see how it works. Or choke, I keep on calling it a clutch, but it's a choke. Push it back and forth, just tighten that screw down. I pushed it all the way down and got it the furthest over here. Usually on starting mine, choke to start is about right there. So that's all I really need. And so that's it. And I will add that this Kawasaki motor has been a champ. Um, I would highly recommend if you buy a zero turn mower, get a Kawasaki motor on it. Um, nothing against the other guys, but these things are awesome. I've gotten seven great years and I don't know how many hours out of this one. And mainly all I've done is change the oil and spray off the air filter. You just pop this up. I take this off and I take my air hose and just clean it out regularly and I replace it from time to time.